Hello, everyone. I was talking to someone recently and they were so upset because someone had betrayed them. Some friend, they called this person a friend, had really hurt them, done them wrong, stabbed them in the back. And you know, I think the problem is we're too quick to call people a friend. You know, in the English language, we're kind of lazy. It's kind of like love, you know. We have one word for love with no distinction between the different types or variations or of anything, but we just say, you know, uh, I love fried chicken. I love my dog. I love God. I love my wife. We use the same word for all of it. And we do the same thing with friend. You know, we're too quick to throw that word out there. Many times it's just an acquaintance or maybe uh, somebody that we hang out with, maybe somebody you even enjoy kind of hanging around with. But to say they're a friend, you know, what is a friend? Some people say a friend should be like family. I hope not. I got some family won't even speak to me. Some people say bad friends, they're like shadows. They follow you around in the sunshine, but they leave you in the dark. Well, the Bible says there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And I've had that. I've had friends like that. But true, genuine friends, they're rare. They're very rare. And they're precious. But you know, even they are people, and sometimes they'll disappoint you. Sometimes they'll let you down. I think the biggest problem is we set too high of un and unrealistic expectations on people. People are people, they make mistakes. And when you set somebody up on such a pedestal with such a high expectation of them, you're setting yourself up to be shattered and just hurt and disappointed. You know, recently on Facebook, and I've got uh, 4,200, 4,400, something like that of what we call friends, acquaintances, I don't know what you want to call them, Facebook contacts is what I refer to them as, but they're called friends on Facebook. I've got 40-something hundred, 4,000-something uh, friends, and I sent out a request for a little bit of help, and I think 17 people responded. <laughs> now, the majority of those so-called friends, I admit, I don't know them. They're just contacts. They're just contacts on Facebook. I've never met them, probably never will meet them, and I would be really hurt by that if I set up this real high expectation of people. But even when it's somebody close to you or a family member, you know, when, when they disappoint me or hurt me sometimes, I'm just reminded that God is the only one in whom you can put your trust. He will never let you down. He'll never disappoint. He'll never do you wrong, never betray you. So put your trust in him and him alone and don't set such high expectations on people. People are people. They make mistakes. And don't be so quick to just give your heart to somebody assuming that they are just this precious friend that would just never do you wrong. Most are just acquaintances. It takes time. You got to guard your heart. If you go through life, you know, thin-skinned and hard-hearted, you're going to have a tough life. So go through life kind of tough-skinned and soft-hearted. But guard your heart and be careful, and be wise. God bless you. Y'all have a good day.